Mount Sinai has so much to offer in terms of paradigm shifting thinking. The way that research and science is done at Mount Sinai is very forward moving. So it is taking advantage of the most novel technologies, but also saying how can we use these to understand why human disease happens. Genetics and data science, I think, is a very exciting MTA. It's an MTA that includes a variety of investigators who are interested in using genetics, genomics, and genome technology to advance our understanding of the human body, of health, and of disease. We can generate genomic sequences on tens of thousands of individuals. And the scope of the kinds of questions that we can ask with genetic data is kind of mind-boggling. You have people working on Parkinson's, diabetes, schizophrenia, IBD, and everyone's doing it differently. Everyone has these extremely creative ways on working on some of these really difficult questions, and it's been pretty inspiring. Genetics actually really allows you to get at underlying causes of disease. We now focus more on the very common late onset form of Alzheimer's. And what we've uncovered from studying the genetics is that immune response is probably related to the cause of the disease. We study in a computational way genetic variation in Alzheimer cases. What we found is that many DNA variants that affect risk for Alzheimer's disease operate in about three or four percent of brain cells. They're called microglia and they are immune cells in the brain. These particular cells are very important in protecting us from developing Alzheimer's disease. To solve something like Alzheimer's disease, we needed a big data approach. My lab is very dedicated and interested in trying to use data science and genome technology to better understand asthma and allergic disorders. We think that using integrative genomics is a way in which we can better find biomarkers, potential therapies, as well as ways to uncover novel mechanisms about these diseases. My lab found that the gut microbiome of infants can foretell what's going to happen with regards to allergy development later on in life. So are there ways in which we can use systems biology and omics to shape that microbiome in early life so that we can foster the most positive health outcomes for our patients? What we are trying to do is bring computer science principles in general to the field of systems biology, where it is a way to look at the cell as a system and then try to figure out the way a cell functions and how gene regulatory networks and cell signaling pathways are all coming together. We have a history of making predictions that then were validated for either a gene that is important for disease we still don't understand what happens to cells when they're treated with drugs, what happens to cells when they became cancerous. If we understand those mechanisms, we can then develop therapeutics. We are still at the cusp of an explosion. All of this data that is collected is bringing us closer and closer to that point where we're going to really understand how the human body works at the molecular level. I think curiosity is the driving force for me. Our lab is developing new technologies to integrate genetics and functional genomic data to understand disease mechanisms and develop novel therapeutics for treating complex diseases like Alzheimer's, cancers, Parkinson's disease. We discovered three major molecular subtypes in Alzheimer's disease. While currently this disease is considered as a single disease, this is really a revolutionary discovery, and we are laid on foundation for development of novel therapeutics for treating Alzheimer's disease towards precision medicine. Students in Monsanto, they are just so talented. They have the opportunity to revolutionize our understanding of disease and development of new treatments for curing diseases. I think this program has set me up for success, having access to the newest 
platforms of research, being constantly challenged to think about new ways of looking into research, being challenged to learn how to collaborate with others in an effective and productive way. There's so much that we can do to harness the way that we think as scientists. I really can't imagine having done my PhD elsewhere.